Hi, I'm James, and today we are going to do an in-depth walkthrough of the Carrera Trek Seeker 1 16 foot. This is the 2024 model. For the coupling, we have the DO35 Cruise Master hitch, which is inclusive of the pin, has a proper handbrake. Next to that on the left hand side is the brake safe. The caravan comes standard with Alco electronic stability control. This is the indicator over here to see if it's on or off. The power supply comes from your vehicle via the red Anderson plug and the unit is fitted in between the axles of the caravan. So if the van starts to develop sway, um, the brake safe will initiate, providing that it has power going to it and it alleviates sway by activating the brakes in the caravan. 12 pin plug, at the front, which is pretty standard. Uh, Gray Anderson plug for battery charging through the DC to DC charger that's fitted inside, which we'll have a look at later. And then there is the cabling over here for the hardwired reverse camera that's fitted to the rear of the caravan. Just beyond the jockey wheel is the deflector Australian made stone guard shield. There's a couple of jerry can holders on either side of the gas bottles of this particular caravan. There's a couple of nine kilo gas bottles in the center with regulator. Just beyond that is your fuel tank for the diesel heater that's fitted to the caravan. There's a T-piece fitted just in front of the gas bottles. Um, that gives you the ability to go and fit a grip support bike rack to the caravan. This is what the bike rack looks like. And this is the mounting point over here. This is on another caravan here at the dealership, but um, just gives you a bit of an indication as to what it looks like. It comes in one, two, three, or four bike configuration. Next to the jerry can holder is a tap on the A-frame. We've got a large checker plate toolbox at the front of the van with two slide outs. So on the right hand side, there's a larger slide, um, currently the jack that comes with the van and the Cruise Master pin for your vehicle is situated on there. Some customers will go and fit a barbecue to this slide or even a slide out fridge, for example. A couple of grab handles at the front of the van, uh, LED spotlight at the front. Next to the toolbox, there's an LED just above the Dometic slide out kitchen. So this kitchen has three gas burners. There's a chopping board here, sink for hot and cold water. Then there's a uh, stubby holder and bottle opener fitted to the end of it also. The kitchen is fitted within a gal box. So when you go and slide the kitchen back in after cooking, the smell's not gonna emit into the caravan hooked up all the hoses. So on the left over here, we have two barbecue bayonets. Obviously one is dedicated towards the kitchen and I've gone and hooked the gas line for the kitchen up to it. On the right over here is hot and cold water outlets for the kitchen sink. Um, and then there's a, obviously another barbecue bayonet. Hypothetically, you could go and hook your Weber up and fit it onto the slide over here and, and barbecue and use your kitchen simultaneously. For the awning, we use an Aussie Traveller awning, so that's fitted here onto the side of the van. There is a entry grab handle just below here. A couple of speakers on the exterior of the caravan. Fold out entry step. Below the awning are a couple of uh, awning lights. We use the Dometic aluminium framed uh, dual glazed window. There's a 10 amp outlet over here on the right next to the speaker. External entertainment box, so you have the ability to bring your TV from inside to the exterior. There's a, um, a 10 amp outlet in here. There's a 12 volt socket. There's an antenna point for the rooftop antenna that's fitted to the caravan. And there's dual USB ports. Here's the fold out picnic table. This caravan's been specced with all terrain tires, but the van as standard comes with 265 mud terrain tires. And then they're on a 16 inch wheel. For the chassis, we have an Australian made chassis. Roadrunner Chassis is the manufacturer. It is a six inch chassis all the way through with a six inch A-frame. It's a super gal chassis with hammer tone paint applied to it. At the rear of the caravan are two large storage lockers and they go pretty much the whole height of the van. So it's good for storing camp chairs and so forth. Now at the rear of the caravan, at the top, we have another LED spotlight. There is the reverse camera that I mentioned earlier, obviously tail lights for the caravan, number plate bracket, spare wheel, and a four neck bumper bar. Another feature of the caravan is the high checker plate that's fitted. 
At the far right hand corner on the driver's side is the 28 litre hot water unit from Swift with the stainless steel boiler. This has the ability to be operated off gas or 240 volt. On the right of that is the Dometic toilet cassette. We'll have a look at the toilet when we go inside. Just behind the axle is the mains pressure inlet for the caravan. There's also a valve there. So if you pull that valve down, you'll actually start to fill two fresh water tanks front of the axle. Um, saves you from having to use the water tank filler, which is housed just next to the outdoor shower over there. 100 litre grey water tank at the rear. All of the tanks are covered in checker plate protection and then all of the PVC piping under the caravan is covered in corrugated plastic. And here's the valve for the grey water tank. The caravan is fitted with a diesel heater and the exhaust is run over here also. Now for the suspension, we utilize the Oztrekker suspension, which is Roadrunner's own suspension configuration. And it features a large heavy duty control arm, heavy duty coil and dual shock. The caravan is also fitted with 12 inch drum brakes. Driver's side LED, there's a couple of vents up there for the range hood and the microwave and obviously the fridge vents for the compressor fridge, 188 litres that we'll view when we go inside. This is the 15 amp inlet for the caravan. Water tank filler just down here like I mentioned earlier and external shower with hot and cold water. Below the external shower is an external battery box which is welded to the chassis rails of the caravan. As standard, we include two 120 amp hour lithium batteries. Currently, we're utilizing the 120 uh, X Pro from iTech World. And there is also a, um, a shunt fitted on top of the negative terminal of that battery. Front of the axles, we have two 95 liter fresh water tanks fitted, and they're also covered in checker plate protection. With the east west bed configuration, we gain the ability to run another storage locker beyond the front tunnel boot, and we house the 2000 watt Voltec inverter that is fitted as standard. So that's situated there, there's an LED, and there's also internal access. The floor is gal, so you can throw your camping possessions along there and not worry about um, damaging the floor. The front tunnel boot also has a gal floor. Currently the leg winder, awning rod, and wheel brace are fitted in there. There's another LED just above, the brake safe battery is accessible there also. And then in front of that is the other side of the toolbox with a small slide on this side. On the roof of the caravan, there's a couple of solar panels fitted. Uh, they're both 210 watts, so 420 watts worth of solar fitted to the roof. There is also a Dometic dust reduction system to minimize dust entry while in transit. Now that concludes the exterior walk around of the Carrera Trek Seeker 116 footer. And that brings us to the entry. Um, we utilize a Malenko entry door. The great thing about this door is it's got that security mesh to prevent anybody from breaking in if you just have the fly screen closed. We also fit a roll blind at the top which covers this window. As we enter into the caravan, we're greeted with an entry grab handle and the fire extinguisher. To the left is the east-west bed. So large bed head on the left-hand side and then on the right-hand side over here is a smaller bed head with a couple of map reading lights fitted above it. The mattress, which is new, so it has the, um, the plastic still on it, is an Australian-made mattress. Um, it's an inner spring mattress with a pillow top in built into the mattress and it's actually on the top and the bottom so eventually you can go and flip this mattress over in the future. Above the map reading lights we have a couple of circuit breakers so one's for the 240 volt circuit in the caravan and then the other one is for the inverter. To the right of that is an antenna point, below that is a 12 volt uh, socket to power the 12 volt TV and then there's a double power point there also. TV bracket here so you can service your seating area with your TV. Just above the TV bracket is a wind up Dometic hatch with a built in LED and if you flick it over it goes to a night light. Above the bed are some storage areas so there's three overhead cupboards. All of the overhead cupboards have a piano hinge and dual gas strut. Below those overhead cupboards is a Sirocco fan. Next to the Sirocco fan is a large wardrobe with a double power point in there 
and a side entry niche. Now, opposite the bed, next to the entry door, we've started fitting another TV bracket here so you can watch TV while you're in bed. There is a, another antenna, dual USB port and 12 volt socket above there also. The TV that is included with the caravan is a 12 volt smart TV with a DVD combination as well. To the left of that is a magazine pouch and a smoke detector up in the corner. And we also have the BM Pro uh, Trek 3 display in the entry. Above the seating area are some more large overhead cupboards. The center cupboard actually features a shelf, whereas the other two are just straight open cupboards. Below those overheads are two map reading lights, obviously window, trifold table, and cafe dinette seating area. Just below the window is double power point and the digital display for the auto term diesel heater. The diesel heater is fitted below the seating area and the outlet is just down there. Below the trifold table is a couple of doors. Then there is also a carbon monoxide detector fitted in the corner over there and a large drawer below the right hand side seating area. Here is the trifold table all the way out, and then there is a couple of kick-up footrests fitted to the seating area also. Just above the entryway in the center of the van is the Dometic dust reduction system. So this unit, the DRS, filters the air that comes in through the roof of the caravan and actually pressurizes the cabin to minimize dust entry while in motion. A couple of speakers are fitted to the roof of the van also, and now fitted in the center of the caravan is the new Dometic Fresh Jet Pro Reverse Cycle Air Conditioner and it's got a couple of LEDs built into it now. Now in the kitchen area we have some storage cupboards on the left over here. Dishless NC microwave. To the right of the microwave we have the BM Pro battery management system. So that's a 30 amp battery charger and a 30 amp solar controller. So the two 210 watt panels on the roof are linked up to this unit here. On the right hand side we have the 30 amp DC to DC charger which is linked up to the Gray Anderson at the front of the caravan. There's a link over here so you can download the BM Pro app on your phone and link it up to the battery management system instead of having to use the Trek 3 display in the entry. And then this is the com link for the shunt that is fitted to the negative terminal of one of the lithium batteries. The Voltec remote display for the 2000 watt inverter is fitted here, so you can turn the inverter on and off internally. The inverter is linked up to a dedicated power point here in the kitchen. There's two switches here for the hot water unit. You can operate it off, as I mentioned earlier, outside 240 volt or gas, depending upon uh, where you're situated. If you're free camping, you go and run it off gas. If you're at a powered site, go and run it off 240 volt. Below that, is the stereo and that controls your internal and external speakers. Below the electrics cabinet is the touchscreen display range hood. To the left of that is an LED. And then below is a sink with a tap that has hot and cold water and also uh, it's got filtered water built into it. So first spouts for hot and cold and then second spouts for the filtered water. Below the sink is some storage drawers and cupboards. All the drawers feature steel sides. The caravan comes standard with a recessed bench top and a cooktop and grill. Hot plate in the top left hand corner over here, three gas burners and then gas griller below. And below the cooktop and grill is a large pot drawer. A 188 litre compressor fridge from Dometic is featured in the caravan. So this will operate off 240 volt or 12 volt being the lithium batteries fitted to the caravan. So now that brings us into the ensuite of the caravan. We're greeted with a black ceramic bowl uh, basin with flick mixer. Medicine chest above with mirror built in. Below the mirror is an LED. To the right of that is the three and a half kilo top loader washing machine, which we'll open up in a moment. Okay. 
to the left of the basin is a little nook down here for towels. And then there's a linen press just above that. To the right of the linen press at the top is a hatch with a built-in fan. Then there is a window below that, towel rail on the sliding door, toilet roll holder, and then Dometic soft closed lid uh, with ceramic bowl cassette toilet. To the right of the washing machine is the fiberglass shower. So there's the um, shower head, there's an LED in here, and then there is another hatch with built-in fan. A standard inclusion of the Carrera Trek Seeker 116 foot is the interior black pack. So the Sirocco fan goes black, all of the map reading lights, your handles go black, entry grab handle, and then door handles, the sink and flick mixer go black, the shower door surround goes black also, as well as the shower head, an ensuite basin and flick mixer. Black towel rail and toilet roll. If black isn't preferable, then we can go and have a white basin in the ensuite, stainless steel sink over here in the kitchen and stainless steel tapware and lighting and so forth. Thank you for watching this video on the Carrera Trekseeker 116 foot. If you have any further questions regarding the model or any of our other models, please contact us via the details listed in the description of this video. Thanks again. Bye.